This video today is for the beginners or for the end users who have the required IPC CTV system hardware with them and want to install it all by themselves. So let's start. Here is the checklist of hardware and tools that you must have ready with you before you begin. The very first is IP PoE camera. You can select the indoor or outdoor cameras and also select the required megapixel resolution of the camera as per your site requirements and budget. Another selection that you can make is for PoE or non-PoE cameras. The advantage of PoE cameras is that we do not need to lay separate cables for power and data. This is an IP PoE camera. This camera has the provision for PoE power that can be provided through this Ethernet port or otherwise 12 volt DC power can be provided to the camera through the power input connector. So we advise you to go for the PoE cameras. To learn about the concept of PoE in details, you may watch one of our old video on the topic. The link is given in the description box. Next is Network Video Recorder or NVR. Select the NVR based on the number of cameras you want to install. NVR is available for 4 cameras, 8 cameras, 16 cameras, 32 cameras or 4 more number of cameras. Also check the number of hard disk it support depending upon your requirement of video storage. Then we have hard disk drive. You should go for surveillance hard disk drives instead of normal hard disk. The capacity of hard disk required will depend upon the number of days of video recording required by you. To learn how to calculate the required hard disk capacity, please watch our old video for which the link is given in the description box. Next we have PoE switch. Selection of PoE switch will again depend upon the number of cameras you want to install. PoE switches are available with 4 ports, 8 ports, 16 ports, 24 ports and so on. Also you should look for the PoE budget of the switch that you select as long selection may not be able to provide enough power to the camera and it will destabilize your installation. To learn about selection of the PoE switches and PoE budget, please watch our old video for which the link is given in the description box. Then we have CAT6 network cable and patch cord which is used to make connections. Also we require RJ45 connectors for termination of the connections. Tools that we require are screwdriver, crimping tool and LAN tester. Finally we need a monitor where all the cameras will be displayed. So let's start with our connections now. First of all we will prepare CAT6 cable that will run between cameras and PoE switch. The maximum length that CAT6 cable can carry the data without degradation is 100 meters. So always restrict the maximum length of the cable that will run between camera and the switch to 100 meters. If the length is more then you may need to change the architecture or in other cases you may require optical fiber cables that can carry signals for several miles without degradation. You may refer our old video on the connectivity using fiber cable. The link for the video is given in the description box. To prepare the cable, RJ45 connectors are required to be put on both the ends of the CAT6 cables to be able to make connections with camera on the one end and to the switch on the other end. We have already made a video on this topic. You can refer this video to learn the process. The link for the video is given in the description box. So here we have our CAT6 cable ready with the RJ45 connectors already put on both the ends. Next we will install the hard disk drive in our network video recorder. Again there is an old video where you can learn the process. The link for the video is given in the description box.
Once we are done with these steps, we will connect the devices. Connect one end of the CAT6 cable to the camera. The other end of the cable is connected to the PoE switch. Uplink port of the PoE switch is connected to the NVR LAN interface port on the back side with the help of patch cord. Finally, connect the monitor and the mouse to the NVR. You can either use monitor with HDMI input port or monitor with VGA input port. Interface for both of these types of monitors is usually provided on the NVR. Mouse will be connected to the USB port. So we are ready with all our connections. Final diagram for our connections is given on the screen for your convenience. Let's turn on the power to our NVR, PoE switch and monitor. The final step is to add the camera IP address to the NVR before you will be able to view and record your cameras. Let's go to our NVR monitor screen to check. Right click with mouse on the screen and click on menu. Click on camera button, then click on add button. With this, the NVR will search for connected cameras and display their IP addresses. Select the IP address and click add. The camera is finally configured with the NVR and you will get the display.